This past weekend I had the opportunity to watch The Sound of Freedom. I, I know it's a movie that a lot of people are really interested in and viewers of Don't Talk TV are interested in, so I decided I'd better do a review of it right away and give you some of my thoughts on that film. Hello, my name is Nicholas Wands, but I'm a lawyer in Stratford, Ontario, Canada, and welcome to Don't Talk TV. So, doing another movie review today. This one is a film that's a lot heavier than uh, the films that I've reviewed before, but one that I think is very important, and one that I would also say that I thought on the whole was superb from many different angles. And that is uh, The Sound of Freedom. I had mentioned it in last week's episode, and it's uh, been doing very well in theaters despite having really no budget for marketing. It's all by word of mouth. So The Sound of Freedom, for anyone who hasn't heard of it, it's put out by Angel Studios, who uh, runs VidAngel. I used to love VidAngel, where you could download movies, you could rent movies from them. Actually, what you did is technically you bought it from them and then returned it to them for a refund less five dollars or two dollars or something like that but most importantly they you could have highly customizable filters to filter out things that you didn't want to see be it profanity be it nudity be it uh, immodesty even or impurity unfortunately vidangel doesn't exist like that anymore i i think it works with some streaming services but they got taken to court they were sued by these companies because they're saying oh you're infringing our ip they don't want people being able to avoid the immorality. But they have pivoted and they've made a few other films, but this is a big one. Uh, the Sound of Freedom starring Jim Caviezel who plays the role of Tim Ballard. Based on a true story, Tim Ballard is a former uh, Homeland Security agent and you see in the film it portrays his transition from being a Homeland Security agent uh, to kind of striking out on his own to try to rescue children from slavery, and it talks a little bit about the the slave trade and and, the, and how many millions of people are slaves in today's uh, society. Now, this has been attacked by all the usual suspects in traditional media, uh, saying that it's paranoid conspiracy theory and what have you. I mean, frankly, the hatred that the mainstream media was directing at this film was part of what made me think, hey, this must be something worth watching. The uh, claims or the accusations of conspiracy theory and association with QAnon is totally uh, unfounded. Uh, I mean, the film doesn't touch very much on the global network. It deals with some very specific circumstances that Tim Ballard was involved in. And I mean, these are beyond dispute that this actually happened. And in fact, right before the credits actually show some of the real footage taken by Colombian federal police when they were doing one of the busts that you see in the film. Now, I was very hesitant to watch this film at first because I thought, oh, tra human trafficking, trafficking of children, I, I don't know if I need to see this. I mean, I know this stuff is going on. I've seen it in my own work. I, I don't really need to see this film to be educated. But I, I saw a few reviews that talked about what it shows, more importantly, what it doesn't show. So that encouraged me to watch it. And I would just reinforce that, that I highly appreciate the fact that this film is PG-13, and it's a true PG-13. Uh, I wouldn't have any concerns with bringing my uh, older teenage children to watch this film. It's clear what sort of evil is going on without actually showing it. The, the way they did it is very well, and I would say very tactful. So if you are concerned about that, I would say that you don't need to be concerned, in, in my view, and I found that especially well done. So it allowed you to still have the the uh, seriousness and the heaviness of the topic without being overwhelmed by just the awfulness of this level of depravity and evil that's going on. And, and to see the very heroic work of Tim Ballard and the heroism of some of the children involved in some other side characters, it is... So it's worth watching for that. I mean, it's also just a great film. For a $25 million budget, which in today's context is nothing, I thought it was superb. I mean, Jim Caviezel, always a good actor. He was excellent in this, but all the supporting actors were fantastic. The cinematography was great. The pacing was very good. The the plotting, the dialogue was all very good. I mean, just taking it as a film, it was an excellent film and very worth watching with elements of suspense and action 
but also that really makes you think. So those are all the makings of a great film. Now, in terms of themes, there were a couple that I was looking out for, and I tried to go into the film with not just an open mind, but a, a skepticism, a healthy skepticism. I wasn't going in looking that this is going to be the greatest thing ever. I was looking at it hard to see if there might be some problematic themes. I was a bit concerned that maybe this film would be, on the one hand, trying to rehabilitate federal agencies or suggest that feds are cool. Or on the other hand, I was concerned that maybe they'd be playing up on the very, very common theme in media. I mean, it's been this way for decades. I remember movies I watched in the 80s having this theme, and probably before that, that you have to go beyond the law to defeat evil. This concept that the law is too slow and evil is always a few steps ahead, so you have to break the law. I mean, that's all the superhero movies are, are, have that theme, all these various different vigilante-type films, all these revenge films. I, I'm sure you, you know many of them. I was worried maybe that would be in play here. I didn't find either of them, uh, quite frankly. I, I think the film did a very good job of walking that very fine line of showing these federal agencies for being largely as useless as they really are, with good people in them doing some good things, but the bureaucracy and the agencies being largely useless, a lot of that because of politicians above them. But without getting into the vigilantism or saying you have to go beyond the law, because Tim Ballard in the film operates completely within the law and works with law enforcement. He works on his own, but he works with law enforcement, and is a, it's the police who make the bust in the end, and the courts that still deal with them. There aren't any summary executions or some of these other type of vigilante things you see in films. So I thought that was also, frankly, pleasantly surprising. Uh, I, I mean, I thought maybe they would be going into the vigilante thing, but that wasn't there at all. And I think that's a very important theme today because we don't need less law, we need more law and we need adherence to the rule of law. I mean, COVID and all the laws that we saw around that, that was exactly this whole idea of, we have to go outside the law to fight this evil. And that's what they, I mean, the charter and many other laws were essentially thrown in the shredder for the last several years because, well, we just have to break the law in order to save lives. And we all know the dire consequences that that had. So I really appreciate that on this film as well. So overall, uh, I give it definitely two thumbs up for myself. Uh, highly, highly worth watching. And I recommend you go see it also because it is the, an independent film. And I think independent films need to be supported because the uh, big studios are generally putting out garbage. Or even when they put out good things, they always have very subversive uh, themes and trying to normalize or promote evil things. So this video is not legal advice. If you need legal advice, call a lawyer. You can call another lawyer or myself. My uh, number is listed below. Uh, if there's show topics you'd like to see me cover, movies you'd like to see me uh, review, and I, I appreciate the suggestions I've gotten. I will get to them eventually, but you can send those to the email address listed below or leave a comment in the comment section. And if you found this video at all interesting, helpful, or informative, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and following us on social media.